Hello again, folks. This is Steve Brizetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, creating the Zoom effect or the Brady Bunch grid effect, where we have a group of people appearing as a video collage and then singing in harmony with each other, or as much harmony at least as they're capable of producing. Now in part one, we lined everybody up and we put them each on separate tracks and we added some cropping and positioned the different faces on screen to create our video collage. Let's make that collage just a little more interesting. I'm going to go to the very first clip. I'm gonna press the home button on the timeline here. I'm gonna get down to that very first clip and zoom in by pressing the plus key a couple of times. And you notice just before the woman sings, we've got just a fraction of a second here. And that's where I'm going to create a short transition. So rather than just have each of these people sort of pop up and appear on screen, I want to make their entrance and their exits a little more interesting. So let's move the playhead just in just a fraction of a second to just before she starts singing. And then I'm going over here to the applied effects panel and we'll open up motion and we'll click on the keyframe controller or open up the keyframe controller. There's the position of our playhead. It looks like it's at the beginning. It actually is just a fraction of a second before the beginning. And let's turn on or toggle on animation for that clip. There it is. Now let's move the playhead all the way to the beginning. I'm going to drag it off to the left as far as it'll go. And we're going to change this number from 55 to zero. So in other words, it's going to have zero scale. It's going to be essentially invisible. And in that fraction of a second, you notice if I scrub the playhead, we're actually going to see the video go from zero to widen out to her position. Now we could have gone the other direction, I suppose, and gone with her at full screen. And then she transitions into this lower left hand corner, whatever way you want to do it. That's how the animation is created. Let's go to the end of that clip. And I'm going to do that just by pressing page down, page down, page down. This will jump you to the beginning or the end of each clip. And there we are at the end of this clip now. And same thing, I'm going to go right after she stops singing, position the playhead, open up again, applied effects, and I'm going to not toggle on animation because animation is already toggled on, but I'm going to create another keyframe. Now this creates a duplicate of the previous keyframe. So between these two keyframes, she's going to remain at 55% scale, which is what she is, good. And now I'm going to move the playhead to the very end of the clip. And I can do that, maybe I can do that easier on the timeline. And once again, I'm going to set scale to zero. There we go. So now she zooms in at the beginning of the clip and at the end of the clip, she zooms out. I'm going to apply that same effect to each one of these clips. So in other words, I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip, same sort of thing. I'm going to select the clip, position my playhead in just before the person starts singing, open up applied effects, go to motion. Toggle on animation to create those keyframes. Move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip. Set scale to zero. And now he too is going to zoom in when he appears on screen and starts singing. We'll apply those to the beginning and the end of each one of these clips. And when we're all done, we'll have that cool effect where the characters appear on screen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. And as they appear, they're going to zoom in and join in the song. Merrily life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Pretty cool effect. We call it the zoom effect, or you can call it the Brady Bunch effect if you grew up in the 70s. Uh, a pretty cool effect. And that's how you do it in Premiere Elements. Now, if you want to know more about how to create effects like this, if you want to know more about how the program works, you want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about Premiere Elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. I wrote the book. It's a great book. <laughs> very, very thorough. I'm Steve Rizzetti, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.